Ah, guess where I am? What is up, you two? My name is Mr. Kyle Cohen. I'm a fourth grade teacher in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm back to school. It's absolutely insane. It has been a remarkable summer. It feels like I just left here yesterday, but believe it or not, I've not been in my classroom once all summer. I am entering my fifth year of teaching fourth grade, and for the first time, I'm not actually fully moving classrooms, which is remarkable. So everything is pretty much how I left it. I'm gonna go check it out, see where things stand, and I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. There's plenty to do, but I am really excited to be kicking off the school year and really excited to show you all of the things I have in store. I have a car full of items I have acquired all summer long. So without further ado, classroom set up for the 2022-2023 school year. I haven't held this camera in a really long time. I have to dust it off. Let's get into it. Ah, feels so good to be back. I've missed this room. It feels so surreal to be back here again. It feels like I just left. Summer is the perfect reset. It is what I need to step away and get back in the energy and get back in the mindset to be in this classroom and to really make an impact here with kids. So there is a lot to do, but nothing crazy. I mean, all of my bulletin boards are still up and posted from last school year. There are very few things that I actually want to even change. I am so happy with how the room looks, how the room feels, and those are things that I'm really going to just be keeping. My celebration board, which you can kind of see back over there, that is a board that we used towards the last part of the school year last year to celebrate students. So we will not be needing that board so that one will need to come down um, but everything else I think is just really gonna stay the furniture obviously needs to move and then my desk area is a project that I'm going to be tackling I set this whole desk up at the end of last school year it's really just big and clunky I I know it looks kind of nice because I put my name on it and I did the whole black paper if you remember from last year but I have a new awesome standing desk that flexi spot sent over so excited to put all of that together and reimagine my space and then we're gonna get all of the other things pulled out of all of the cabinets that I just shoved everything in at the end of last school year because I was ready for summer so I'm gonna start to get organized start to find everything and put it in its place and um, there's plenty to do. I also got a ton of stuff sent to me over the summer and a lot of stuff that I um, bought. I'm not a big... Um, sorry, I'm straightening this out. I'm not a big spender for my classroom. There are some things that I absolutely need, and then my Amazon wish list, gratefully, thankfully, um, sends a lot my way. But I wanted to show you a couple things that I picked up. New pack of Stabilos. These are my favorite pens. I'll link everything down below. Um, but these are my favorite pens for all things, and always get a new pack to start the school year. Notebook. This is by Paper Age. This is my favorite brand and my favorite kind of notebook. I always start a new notebook at the beginning of the school year. Sorry, this is still crooked. Um, but I bring I bring a notebook and a pen to essentially every meeting, everything that I have. I've seen every teacher on the internet talk about these um, dry erase markers by the brand June Gold. I've never tried them. Excited to give them a try. There are 39 of them that come in this pack, so we will, well, well full review coming soon. Someone sent me these scissors, which are awesome because they're they're larger and my students usually ask to use bigger scissors, not like the little ones. So these seem like the perfect size for fourth graders. They're in between like super sharp adult scissors and those like little ones that kindergartners typically use. I am beyond excited for my cordless glue gun. I've wanted one of these since I started teaching. Um, and the kick, kick start of year five, we finally made it. So thank you to whoever sent me this cordless glue gun. You made me happier than you'll ever know. Had to naturally replenish the sticker supply. I have um, a black pocket chart at the front of my room where I display all of my stickers. We use these for incentives constantly in the classroom, whether it's winning a Kahoot or helping clean without being asked. I'll, I'll give these out like candy. My students put them on their Chromebooks, on their water bottles, on their folders. They love them and works like a charm. I mean, Come on! I got one of those uh, toy claw machines. I'm gonna put 
all sorts of small little prizes in here, kind of similar to the stickers. Fourth graders just sometimes, something so small can go a really long way, and I really, truly love celebrating students who go above and beyond to exceed expectations, and sometimes we're so busy focusing on students who are not meeting expectations that we forget that we really do need to celebrate all students. So these little types of things, like whether it's this new claw machine or stickers, they're really inexpensive and an opportunity to really just help build your classroom community while also um, reminding students how awesome they're doing and how special they are. And everyone likes to be celebrated. So excited for the addition of this and of all the stickers. Finally, just got the essentials. We have a new box of pre-sharpened pencils. We have a pack of markers. I always keep supplies for students just readily available for anyone who doesn't have them. So something like markers and then, you know, got to have uh, some Astro Brights paper. I go through this like you never even would know. We definitely could use my uh, Airwick plug-in. Yep. Excited to have you plugged in. All right, I got my cordless glue gun powered up. The light is blue, which I think means it's ready. I'm gonna hang, let me, let me show you. I'm gonna hang this amazing mural that my class from last year made. Um, I have the perfect spot for it over, sorry for, sorry for a, a whipping that camera around. Um, I have the perfect spot for it right here. So put a little painter's tape where I want it and uh, we're gonna see if hot glue can hold it up. I, I feel confident, like mildly confident, but I'm excited to test the hot glue gun. Okay, I'm feeling, uh, this is great. I, I, I don't know what took me so long to get one of these, but did I have to deal with the cord? This is amazing. It's time for the moment of truth. Here we go. Well, what do we think? I think it looks great. Absolutely. And the desk area is like 90% complete. I keep a fairly simple desk and I'm pretty happy with it. This is a new addition to the desk setup because I obviously got rid of all of my drawers that were in my old desk. Ignore the, ignore the mess. But really happy with how this cart turned out. Um, nice and organized, just how I like it. We have the standing desk, which is awesome. More on that soon. And then this is just a table that I put a black tablecloth on and I hot glued it down so it doesn't move. Have the pens, new pen organizer. Feel pretty good about that. Stickers, extra ones we're gonna keep in here. Post-its, classroom phone. That was the fastest few hours in my entire life. I got a lot done. Also made a pretty big mess and I need to clean it up before I leave here today. But that can concludes part one of Classroom Setup. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment down below. Have you started school yet where you are or what's going on with you and your classroom setup experiences so far? Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss part two, three, who knows how many parts of the Classroom Setup series. I'm also documenting my teaching journey over on TikTok and Mr. Kyle Cohen if you have not checked me out over on TikTok. But I gotta go, so thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you and I will catch you in the next one. Hey, hey.
Mm-hmm.